Hey guys, what is up? It's Don't Me Sad 20 here, or Lucas bringing you guys another Be a GM commentary. And uh, so, the last time in mean, my last video, uh, we were 16, 6, and 1, uh, number 1 in points, as you can see right there in the Western Conference, too. And uh, Brian Campbell still injured for four more weeks, but I think we can keep on going. So, I'm going to try to get through the. Let's try to get all the way through January in this video, and. Uh, yeah, so let's see what we can do. Uh, so I'm going to keep Ryan Miller on a four game to one uh, loss ratio. Four wins to one loss ratio. I think I said that right. But um, I don't know. I think, like, I was looking at this team off video, and, like, it's a pretty solid team in real life as well. I mean, there's not many things I can improve on. I mean, I need a second line center, but, I mean, that's really it. I mean, I can get a second line center through the trade at the trade deadline if I want to. And uh, possibly during free agency, I haven't really looked. I, I know we're a little bit tight on cap, but I, there's bound to be players that I can release and or trade that will like give me more cap room. And I think that will really help us out if we get a, a solid uh, second line center. Uh, I mean, I wasn't. I mean, ideally, I want a young one, maybe like uh, maybe a Huberdeau because I know I know Huberdeau's um, trade value isn't that much in this game until like the third year or fourth year. So, I mean, if we can get Jonathan Huberdeau to be our second-line center, then that that would, I, I think we'd be set here. Let's just see. I like that idea. Let's see what his trade value is right now. So he's like an 80-something overall right now. So, whoop. oh, wait, Huberdeau is not on the Florida Panthers. So let's find out where Mr. Huberdeau is real quick. Huberdeau. Okay, so he, has, he actually has a decent amount of trade value, but let's find something they want. So they want, um, they want Hosa, um, I'm going to have David Deschardt answer him, I can use him. Let's look at the, uh, this, okay, so I can't, I don't know if I can trade Brian Campbell if he's injured, but I think that, I, I think that'd be pretty good because they want him and, uh, he has a decent trade value. So that's nowhere near what they want yet, so who else can I give up? Um... Oh, uh, give us some draft picks. Definitely give us some draft picks. Uh, oh, God, sorry about the yawning. I don't know why I'm so tired. Um, so let's get whatever my highest one is. So eight, 2018 and 2014 for Jonathan Huberty. Let's see if it go through. Uh, they got. I got to make it really worth their while. So I definitely got to increase the trade value here. So let's see. Um, I don't. I don't think I can give up Wayne Simmons though. Okay, so one, two, three. Wait, where's my, who's my number one center? Wait a second. Hold on, hold on. I gotta make, I gotta check my lines before I try to make this deal. Um, coaching options, edit lines. Vermet is my first line center. He's actually a center, so I don't know why I wasn't sure. Or maybe I just didn't see him. Okay, so I can definitely give up David Deschardins and pretty much any of these guys. And defense wise, I mean I don't I don't know really. I mean, if I get rid of Jackman, I'm just going to put Brian Campbell there and that may actually be good because it's a defensive defenseman and offensive defenseman. So I can get rid, rid of Barrett Jackman and any of my fourth liners for him. So let's go back in there and try to get Jonathan Huberdeau. So I want Jonathan Huberdeau. What's his overall right now? He is an 81, yeah. But next next year, it becomes like an 86 or something like that. So, I can give up Brian Campbell. Or no, I cannot give up Brian Campbell. I, who did I say? I said... I said, I said, David A. Shard ends. Uh, Bear Jackman. Uh, what do they want? Why, don't, why does it show them? Uh, um, what, who else can I put in here? Uh, I mean, these guys don't really have... I mean, Prust, I guess, if that helps up the trade value and then definitely give him some draft picks. I'll give him this year's third and the 2018 one. Maybe that will go through. If not, I think I just gotta wait till the trade deadline at least. Oh. I mean that looks like it will go through. Maybe they want what do they want to give up? I'll give up some contract. I'll take some contracts on. I don't think they want to though. Let's see if that works. Uh, we would take David Deschardt in. So they want David Deschardt in. So they just don't want any of the, these other guys. So let's get rid of those. Actually, 
Huh. Let's try that. Quite far off. Okay. This is going to be my last try. I'm just going to give him a bunch of first round picks. I really want Jonathan Cooper to. Uh, they want another player. They want Ryan Miller. Uh, Hosa too good. Win Simmons. I mean, those are the right wingers. So, I mean, I can't give up Wayne Simmons if I'm gonna, not going to have any more anyone else. If I'm going to give up Wayne Simmons, I need a right winger back. Martin Erath. Hmm. Martin Erath may be a good idea. Let's see. Quite far off. Okay. Well, I'll wait till get John. I'll wait till get Jonathan here, but um, definitely someone. If you guys have any ideas of who I can trade to get him, let me know down below. Let's see if we can get all the way through January and all the way through the All Star break. But let me know down below of who you think I can give up uh, to get Jonathan Huberdo, or give me like another good uh, second line center who's young and has a pretty good potential. Uh, I was trying to think like, I mean. There's not many I can think of other than Huberto. Uh, Duchesne is a center. Um, Landon Scott is a left winger. A lot of them, well, the two Avalanche players. Um, yeah, no one I can think of off the top of my head, to be honest. But I don't know. I feel like I feel like if we get a young one, let me switch up. If you if Ryan Miller loses this game, I'll switch him up. But um, if um, okay, let's stop it right here. I, I feel like a young center would be probably ideal because not only will he fit in, like, right now would be helpful, but he would... Oh, wow, Jason LaBarbera was playing all those. Probably should have checked that. But, um, I feel like if, if we had a good uh, second-line center, then eventually when uh, Vermette retire, retires, probably in, like, two years, then he'll be easily a first-line center by then. And I think that could really help out us because we don't won't have to trade up for draft picks or have to make cap room for a uh, free agent or anything like that. But uh, I'm just gonna take my sweatshirt off right here. I'm sorry if it's too quiet, if it's loud, but I think we're good. Okay, thank you for scouting. Edit lines manually. Brian Campbell, welcome back to the team. Uh, so let's drag, scratch white. Where is he? Uh, whew. let's put in Brian Campbell. Uh, Brian Campbell. There we go. And uh. Uh, I'm going to switch, whoops, not those two. I'm going to switch these two. And then put Brian Campbell on the power play. Uh, that looks good. Whoops, and then David Dish in. Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that. And then put Vermette up here. Yeah, I'm going to do that, actually. Um, and I think that's good. 4 4, Brian Campbell. Uh, and I think we're good. Oh, Brian Campbell's in my shootout, apparently. Uh, let's put in Joffrey. Oh, he was already in there. Dang it. Uh, I mean, I guess Prost. I don't know. I don't think shootouts will matter that much. But let's keep on simming. And, uh, I don't know. It's looking pretty good so far. I feel like that we can secure a play playoff spot by the All-Star break if we're well over 500, which we are right now. And, uh, I don't know. I, I, I got a feeling. Oh, these ca this capital team looks pretty good, actually. Oh, we get Nuge. He's a center. I know that. So maybe Ryan Nuge Hopkins. Uh, I don't. I don't need you, Scout. But um, yeah, right. Maybe Ryan Nuge Hopkins. But I feel like he's gonna be way harder to trade for. Um, I don't know. I gotta find a team that has salary cap issues and want a lot of my players. But I don't know if that's gonna be the case. I haven't been paying attention with this win loss. God damn it. Uh, okay. So there's one loss. I'm gonna say. There's a nice win over the Red Wings and. Uh, this Avalanche team isn't too bad either. Getzlav, Suter, Sharp, Niemi. Ooh, that's actually a pretty good team, and we beat them very nice. Or no, we lost, didn't we? Yeah, we lost. Damn, never mind. I take that back. Oh, that Hawks team. That is dirty. Stam Stamkos and Rick Nash. Okay, trading block. Let's, I want first round picks. Actually, here, let's see what I can do here. I want a second line forward. I want a center. Whoops. Uh, second line. Uh, potential range. I want four and a half stars medium um and yeah that's pretty much it wait it didn't say um uh, uh medium there you go let's search list and drum roll please yeah nuge news is the only center 
Um, he has shitty face-offs. I'm trying to look for face-offs, too. What, why? I gotta get young guys, though. These guys all look pretty young. Vander Kane? Vander Kane may not be a bad choice. Yes, yeah, so let's see. Let's see if they want to give up Kane. No, they do not want to give up Kane. That is a shocker. But they do want draft picks, and that's very good. Um, so let's see who they want. David Deschardins, um, White. We can give up. I'll just give them a shit ton of draft picks. Draft picks are the key. And if I get this trade done, or even if I don't, I'm gonna end it after this because it's. I don't. I try not to go over ten minutes because it takes a while for my computer to render it. And it, um, David Deschardins, Colin White, for Vander Kane. Let's see if they want to, if they want to give up anyone. No. Um, let's see if that goes through. It did go through. It did go through. But we did get a Vander Kane, so let's edit up the lines real quick. Uh, so we do now have a second line center, or a, a solid winger, too. What am I doing here? Um, I don't think, feel like I gave up too much. I mean, honestly, I'm not worried about the draft picks. That's a pretty good. We can actually put him on the first line if we really wanted to. 71 face offs, and what does Vermette have? 85. No, we're definitely going to put Vermette up there, but I feel like that actually kind of helped because he's four and a half stars and he's only 21 and he's a stud. I mean, look at him. That shooting is insane. I mean, defensive awareness isn't too good, so he's having, like, not going to be on the penalty kill, but uh, the puck, the puck skill is pretty good, and his offensive awareness is 86, and that can only go higher, so. I feel like that's a good trade. Uh, let me know down below. A lot of you guys didn't like my last trade. Hopefully you guys, you, hopefully you guys like this one better. And uh, if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.